Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 48. <laughs> Sorry. The end of a long stream, end of a long day, end of a long week. And um, if you're watching this live anyway, if you're watching this later on YouTube, then the next stream should be starting in another tomorrow. Uh, just depending on how, when you're watching it. Either way, we're continuing our playthrough of Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We we got uh, the Handmaiden there, ooh, who I should probably put real armor on. That that seems wise. Alright, so she's still got her Handmaiden staff. Uh, all the other equipment is there. We just need to change the dancer's outfit. <laughs> For the flex heavy armor again. I really need to upgrade that. I'll probably work on that stuff in between streams. Um, get uh, get everybody's armor as upgraded as I can. And at least figure out what good upgrades are. Alright. So there all that is. I can't walk into there without some poison masks. So I, I'll circle back around to that place later. That's all Voga the Hut stuff. Uh, this is a low security door. I almost want to try to make my way through that, but let's go for the easy stuff first. Hi. Oh, you're a different guy. Uh, low security door. A door. And what's down this way? Does this take me back to somewhere that I had intended to be beforehand? Oh, uh, this is another one of those pylons, isn't it? Pylon 2. What's up the Pylon 2 console? Nothing, because the console is inactive. Alright, then let me go talk to the flying whatchamacallit over there. And we'll see what I can get through the open door as opposed to the other one. Hmm. What's the... Oh, Okay. Uh, do I want to do that yet? Let me not mess with that just yet and instead talk to you him. You interrupting me for a reason? I hmm. have a lot of work to do, to manage here, right? So, what is it? Um, so who do you work for? My boss is the hut Voga. I oversee the docks for Voga's freighters. Okay, so how's business these You're days? From here, business bad. Freighters get hijacked, no trade gets through, and they can't get fuel from Sleheron. Fuel reserves building up there. All right. Is there anything I can do to help prevent? Oh yes. Is there anything I can do to help prevent you the hijacking? Maybe him you can help. I have enough trouble with pylons. What's wrong with the pylons? Pylon power supply badly damaged. Only can support one pylon at a time. Can't bring hmm. freighters in fast enough. You help bring freighters in. Maybe Fasa can help you later, huh? Okay. I'll try to help then. Good, good. I give you basic access to pylon consoles. From pylon, you can read ID signature of freighters. You figure out what order the three freighters should dock. Freighter yeah. with higher first two numbers has higher priority. If first two numbers tied, then higher last three numbers oh. has higher priority. For example, B-11-115-999 has lower priority than D-15-154-111. You got it? Sure. One more thing. First two numbers are always the same as the first two numbers in the second set of numbers. You can read Freta ID huh? from pylons, but hard to get full signature ID from each pylon. Use a pylon power console near me to change which pylon is powered up. You go check ID signatures from each pylon, and then you assign priorities to the three freighters. I'll do my best. All right. That that made.
Okay. So, priority is determined by the ship's ID signature. First two numbers indicates its importance. Higher number, higher importance. If they're tied, then the last three numbers are compared. Who, who invented this? Who came up with this system? I, okay, fine. Fine. Let's uh, optimize power distribution. All pylons are active. Ha ha. And all that cost me was a power spike. All right, let's go back, or let's uh, let's head over to pylon one just in case somebody interrupts us before we get this show started, and then we can go from there. Still haven't figured out which way is out unless it's over here. What is over here? That's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Hello, Mr. Wookie. Oh. Oh, Hanhar is working with the hut. Huh. Okay. So he's hunting Goto? Goto? Hmm. Yeah, I still can't shake the feeling that he's the 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 brother of the Wookiee from Knights of the Old Republic one. Okay. So the hut's going to keep dressing him down. <laughs> if you can't perform the tasks, then perhaps the human female will serve. Mm. Um, that's kind of disturbing. That's a little disturbing. <laughs> Enough cards persuades a lot of people to do a lot of things. Let, let's be honest. Oh. Uh, threatening him is probably not the way to go about it. I don't care how big a wookie you are. Yeah. Alright. Everybody's after Goto. And I keep wanting to say it go to, but that must be the programming stuff. Uh, all right. So that's back to the refugee landing pad. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. So this is going to get us our pylon control. Pylon control one says, examine freighter ID signatures. Okay, so we got the silver zephyr. Oh, it's only giving us partials. All right, 49, not sure, 90 something. So the Silver Zephyr's probably first. I, I hope this isn't going to make me wish I had written stuff down. I mean, I, I like when games give you puzzles, but not those kinds of puzzles. Th this shouldn't be a memory game. Alright, what's over here at number two? Maybe I should have picked up that speed boost. I, I hate what it does to the screen, but running from pylon to pylon too. Alright. We know that's 90 something. That's 45. That's something nine. Okay. This is the way we run in circles, run in circles, 
Run in circles. I wouldn't mind if you'd do something useful too. Alright, so we got 96, 40 something, something 9. Oh. Oh no. Let me grab a notebook. Because obviously I'm going to have to write some of this stuff down. Let's go back to the ID signatures. So we got Silver Zephyr. And it's going to be 96. And the other three digits we need are 521. And then we got... The Taruno's Profits, and it's 40-something, and something 18. And the Alicandor, that is something 9, 93-something. Ah... Uh. Should have known I was going to have to write all this out. Last time for something like this, it actually gave you an intelligence option to, to just kind of intuit the answer. So I, I'm wondering if the game's not going to let you do that for this particular puzzle, or if my intelligence isn't high enough to just automatically solve it, which is frustrating. If I uh, give myself a... Stats boost, does that let me automatically intelligence out the answer? Alright, let's, uh... Oh, nope. Never mind. Let's, uh, find our signatures again. So the Silver Zephyr... That doesn't give us anything we were missing and needed. Alright, so that's 45... That's 118. And the third one is something 9, which I already had. And that gives me nothing I needed out of that one. Oh, bother. Alright. So for when you go do your playthrough... That lets you know that, that you're going to want to take notes on this one. And carry some spikes. Because, uh... Yeah. Hacking this so you're not shunting power from pylon to pylon is also very, very useful. Alright, so now we're back here. ID signatures. Alright, we already had everything we needed out of the first one. Technically, have everything we needed out of the second one. It was the third one. That's 49, 937. Alright, since there's no ties for those first two digits, that means that we can go to the main menu, assign the priorities, and the first priority goes to the Silver Zephyr. Second priority goes to the Alicandor, and the third one goes to Turnus Profits. Alright. Hey! That actually did it. Oh, okay. That updated something by completing it. Let's go, uh, let's go talk to the dude and see what he has to... Uh, can you give us something? Preferably in the form of monetary compensation. Monetary compensation? Be clear, you maybe. Fasa. I not forget. Now why you bother me again? 
Yeah. I wanted to talk about the exchange. Yes. Let's talk about the exchange. <laughs> yeah. How can I speak with Why them? Are you speak with exchange, huh? No matter. You do not decide when to speak to them. Exchange decide to speak to you. Fasa heard they're not so happy with you. Maybe <laughs> best. That's the idea. Strength package. Ooh, nice. All right. So we got the low security door and a regular door. Because we got a few other things back here too, but I don't know that that's what I want to do just yet. So let's uh let's just go to the doors that are open. And we'll come back through here a little more uh, thoroughly later. Um. I didn't realize I was sneaking up on anybody. Oh. No. Oh, hush. We got some more locked doors. What's this door? <laughs> Are you from the dock authority? If so, I say twice, I will not pay the departure fee. Uh, <laughs> I'm not from the dock authority? What do you mean? Ah, the dock authority is the second voice of the exchange. They charge high cred for leaving and entering. I was able to dock but found my contract. Okay. You need money to leave. Let me see if I can help them. Oh, okay. So it's back to Faso, the dock master, huh? Out of curiosity, what is your cargo? Hey! Power, you say? Could I... Could I have one of your power cells? Okay. I'll let you know what happens. Well, that's helpful. I'm not going to loot the crate behind him because he just helped me. Well, I mean, it's more of a mutual thing. It's in the backpack. Deadly gas mine, security spike tunneler, security tunneler, some components, uh... Scout Enforcer and a Power Pulsator Mark II. Well, I mean, since there doesn't seem to be anybody to lay claim on them, it must be abandoned property. Hi. I don't know who you are, but you picked the wrong room to break into. Uh, <laughs> you picked the wrong room to die in. Yikes. Didn't know anybody was here. For a minute, I thought you might have been someone else. What do you mean? My wife, Ada. There's a chance she may be here on Nar Shadda. A lot of refugees ended up here after the Jedi Civil War. I came here to see if I could track her down. Thing is, I can't get into the refugee sector. And even if I could, I'm not sure Seriously? I could find her. I've been here for weeks, hoping to see her face. All I've done is watch my credits burn away to nothing. Why can't you get in there? She's got the place barricaded with thugs. They're putting the squeeze on the whole sector. Trying to crush the spirit out of the remaining refugees. Now I'm almost cleaned out. I burned the last of my fuel and my freight just getting here. The exchange promised me a job shuttling freight via cargo cruiser, and I'm close to taking them up on it. Uh. <laughs> Maybe it'll get into the refugee sector for you. How do you know she's still alive? Um. No, I'm not going to persuade him into taking the job with the exchange. Because I'm trying to get a negative rep with them. So let's go ahead and... I might be able to get into the yeah. refugee sector for you. Cost me? <laughs> Whatever credits you have left. No, nothing. Well, I'm not going to turn away an offer of help. All right, stranger. If you can find her, then you'll have my thanks. All right, let me go see what I can find out. All right, I'm not going to steal from him since I decided to go help him and be all nicey light-sided stuff. 
Uh, and behind this door is a fake door. This appears to be a magnetically sealed storage door locked from the inside. You don't see any means of opening it. Yet. Dun dun dun. Da da. Alright. Let's finish up this hallway and then I'll probably call it a night. Metal box and... <laughs> what do we have? A meth lab in the back of the docks or something? But if we... Uh, who are you? And who are you? Oh, just checking out the area. Uh, can I ask what you're doing? <laughs> I do not know if you can or not. Oh, seriously. I just want to know what you're doing. Are you so literal that uh, nothing goes over your head? Your reflexes? Alright, what are you doing here? I've worked with people like you before. What does all this do? Tie into the listening devices installed in the dock pylons. Antennas for what? Um, you're looking for one specific signal? Oh. Okay. Uh, I don't understand. Okay. So you hear the radio. So why is that a problem? Huh. Alright, how enormous are we talking about? Covering the whole planet, you say? Oh. How did you find it? Okay. So there's a signal that seems to be working at just the right frequency. Is this what's causing everybody to be uh, special? Is this what I felt when I first walked in? What makes the signal unique is use of those transmissions and signals. No one generator. Okay. Who's behind it? Of course I did. Is there anything I can do to help you out? You need a good cure. Of course you do. Hello, Mr. FetchQuest. What's the job? Of course you don't. Alright, I'm interested. Take these credits to a supplier of mine, Vital Parts. Give him the payment, he'll give you the part, bring me the part. Simple. Nothing simple. Alright. Where were you supposed to meet him? Over in Pylon 3. Okay. This, uh... Sure. Nothing in there. I'll have to go loot that in a second. Um... Lunar Shadow Crewman? Huh. Okay. I, I'm here for your valuables. I'm here to cleanse. No. Nope. Uh, sorry. Wrong room. I'll talk to you guys again a little bit later. I think I've accumulated about all I can manage for the rest of the evening and... Oh! Hello, Mr. Mandalorians. A Mandalorian with a sense of humor. Anything you have of value. Just looking around. Alright. I won't start up with them just yet. We still got those locked doors. I might have to start picking my way through, but I I, I might check a different crew. Alright, let me take you care of this guy. Me for a reason? Yep, I do. I have a lot of work to do. To manage here, right? 
So what is it? What is it? All right. Uh, I want to talk about the skill guy. I said I would. So I let Ithorian oh. go for you. You go tell him, right? I'll let him know. Great. Good. What else? Uh, nothing else. Sweet. So I can go turn that in in a minute. Alright, over by pylon 3, I'm supposed to be meeting a Twi'lek. Alright. Oh! Um. Yikes. This must be the contact you're supposed to meet. The body's been stripped of the package you're to buy. Uh, shoot. Nope, somebody's about to shoot. I knew that cleaning droid wasn't a cleaner. Alright, fine. Uh, oh, no, let's uh back up one more and get an energy shield. And then the power attack. All right, I see a shield in effect. So what we're going to do is home skillet here has a shield breaker. Yeah. Um, wait. Did he... Did he, like, save from the shield breaker? There we go. Journal entry added. Uh, what's on the body? Droid toxin emitter, anatomy library, warfare upgrade. Okay then. Alright, so that's empty. That's empty. The other body's empty. All right, let me wrap up these two. I know I said I was just going to do the one. But... I, I can clear a couple of quests off the log. <laughs> All right. Let's see, uh... Let's see what's going on here, then. Let's get the Ithlorian first. Hi. Hello again. Alright, he says that you can depart now. Oh, good news. Here's the power cell as I promised. Bye bye. Bon voyage. And off he goes. Walking into me. Because, of course, he did. Alright, we got a cryogenic power. Power cell and some XP. Now, what's in this box? Oh, components. Well, I mean, I say that like that's nothing. That's not nothing. Components are always useful. Um. And now the scientist is gone. Bith Scientist Quarters. Found signal. Droid attacked me. It's deleting my data. We'll try to get away. Uh. Well, okay then. On that mystery, uh, I guess we're gonna. Let, let's, uh, let's save first. And then we'll, uh,. Then we'll figure out where, what's going on from there, right? Alright, so this is where I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And 
If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.